Hello, this video is for those who want to build the keyboard feature on their iOS application. This is a live preview of the iPhone using QuickTime. You'll be able to touch in your text field area and tap outside of the area and then also use the return key to have the keyboard go away. A lot of uh, apps teach you how to build apps, but this is a, one of the features they seem to be missing. Okay, so anyway, moving forward, create a new Xcode project. You're going to click single view application. Make sure it's iOS is selected. Okay, when you see iOS, you're going to select single view application and that's done and click next. Call the project whatever you want to call it. Let's say we're gonna call ours thumb wars because we've been all thumbs and trying to figure this out. If you have core data selected, that's fine. We're gonna deselect it, whichever works for you. You might be using this for an existing project. Save it to the desktop. Once it's saved to the desktop, you'll see you have your Thumb Wars um, file, Xcode file, and you're going to click on the main storyboard, okay? Click on the main storyboard, select the view controller, as you can see, we selected the view controller, and select the first newspaper thingy. Now what you're going to do is deselect use auto layout. We've deselected use auto layout. What that does is basically creates uh, iPhone simulation similar to the real one. And now we go to the menu at the bottom, we're going to type in text. See we have the text, whoops, one second, we're going to text, basically it's a text field, we're just going to center it, the lines guide you so you know when it's centered, stretch it out a little bit, just so we, we know that it's where it needs to be. Okay, now what we're going to do is select the newspaper thingy, as you can see. This menu is here, there's no class assigned yet because we haven't uh, done that. So click on the two circle thingies like we just did. And the two, what you'll do is you'll press control click into the, um, the uh, view controller. And we're gonna call this, let's say, mini text field, okay? So we'll call it that. And as you can see, it just populated the um, IB outlet and we just make some spaces. We're going to make spaces here so because we're going to just cut and paste some code so that you can basically, um, oops, mm, that doesn't go there. All right, so put a comma at the top in the class field, and what we want to do is we want to import the UI um, text field delegate, which will activate this code here, which goes in the override func. Uh, feel free to pause the video if we're going too fast, as you can see. But now what we want to do is see where it says text file um, name or text field name. Well, what we want to do is we want to change that and have it be the name that we just uh, click dragged in. So just highlight that, okay? And we're going to paste it in. As you can see, it's active now. So now, um, if we go back, let's go back into the uh, menu on the top right, and let's select this menu will allow us to have clear field buttons inside our text field area, which is great because um, so we don't have to backspace and delete. So just click on the little X. And these are just some features here that you have by default you can check out, but um, don't click any of them yet. What we want to do is click appearance and dark. That'll give us a nice dark keyboard, which will go with our um, background. So make sure you select in the um, view control table and then go into the menu and select again. Okay, um, we're going to select a background. As you can see, we just changed our background color just to make it something a little more spiffy, more appealing, um, just for this, the sake of this tutorial. Um, we're not doing design, we're just basically um, helping you with this feature, which, which seems to be uh, missed in a lot of tutorials. Okay, so we have background color. Mm, I like, oh, that's a nice one. Nah, not really. Yeah, there we go, finally. Okay, so enough of design and back to coding. Okay, so now we're back in our view controller. As you can see, make some spacing right there because what we're going to do is we're going to put some code in, okay? So I already have the code prepped. Um, so what we want to do is, as you can see, feel free to pause. Because it says begin, dismiss keyboard when touching. So this is basically what you'll have to type. Now that we've paused it, so now what we're going to do, uh, we want to add some additional text field here, basically, so the user knows what to implement, um, kind of like a dummy text. 
uh, we call it enter your text dummy. I mean, we're not, you're not the dummy, but basically the text is a dummy. So it's just dummy text placement. Center it. Okay. After we've centered it, um, let's see. What we're going to do is go back down to our uh, find QuickTime. There we are. We're going to find QuickTime, look for QuickTime, and QuickTime will give us a live simulation of our cell phone as long as you have your cell phone connected to your iPhone or iPod. Uh, and you just click new recording like we just did and all your photos will pop up close all the windows and just wait for, wait a little bit because now what we're going to do is we're going to run the simulation select run 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 just wait a little bit and you can download the sample uh, working code files so feel free to do that too our build was successful and now we just wait there we go thumb wars we're going to enter in our dummy text you have to wait a little bit for some reason there's a little bit of lag with the iOS there we go and if we tap into our screen we tap our text and nothing happens um, I mean something happens and there we go type in a little something hi and so there you have it and if you type return the keyboard disappears and um, we didn't set up any of the class sizes so we'll probably work on that next time but there you have it